literally perfect, like perfect. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Welcome to our mukbang, our first one ever. Salad. <laughs> this is a very exciting one because we have salad. Coconut water. We are in Ipswich. We drove yeah. here and it sucks. Don't come here. Yeah. They haven't made it yet. So you were asking someone for advice what to do in Ipswich. And they said basically nothing because Ipswich hasn't made it yet. So now we are in the car park of Aldi eating a 79p salad because there's not much other choice you have on a mucus free diet. We need to switch. Yeah. So this is it. And we had local chips earlier, so. It was just in the way I wonder. Oh, I love it. Just on its own, without mayo, mayo, without sauce, without, without salt, salt. And vinegar. It tasted salt. really plain and shit, but I we, liked we, it. I'm not bloated at all. But I like chips, yeah. But so yeah, we shared a portion as a treat. So now to try and balance that and help the digestion, we're having this salad. Hmm. Mm. You're gonna put cashews. You wanna put cashews on it? Yeah. Some coconut water. Got some raspberries. American YouTubers do their mukbang and they're like Wendy's, Olive Garden. Oh shit. Um, what else do they eat? Not spawn. Not sponsored. Imagine we're sponsored by Aldi to sit in that car park and eat their food. Who could tag them actually and be like, look, we did this. Aldi. Getting the Aldi ad money to pay for the 79p. Getting the Aldi paper. <laughs> Roasted salted cashew nuts in an ideal world at home. We would wash these Because salt is not necessary and not good for you, but There's no tap and sink so Why is your short so small? She's like 50 <laughs> She wants to have small shorts at 50 mm -hmm. So all we did well we walked by the what is it called? The pier? Waterfront. The waterfront. Um, we, wanted to, we wanted to sit next to like a boat and have a picnic. We broke but our fast there, our intermittent fast. I, I, my record today was 17 and a half hours. Me and too. you? Se 17 and a half. Yeah, so this is a record for us. We're targeting like 20 to 24 hours fast to see how our body mm. feels and heal our body through fasting and digest all the undigested fruit from you know our previous yeah. diet uh, let your body let your body have time to process what you already ate because the digestive process it's not 20 minutes it's not one hour even though you if, feel like it yeah yeah but it's still in your gut it doesn't completely flush out if you're eating completely clean like fruits and vegetables only absolutely nothing else then it will digest much quicker and which is fasting, unlikely for 99.9% yeah, .9 of people, of people. Yeah. so fasting is really really good for your health wow <laughs> who needs spaghetti when you have shredded carrot? i miss spaghetti kinda we have been what is the word? transforming into the what? no what's the word? Yeah. When you get transition, transition, we have been transitioning. Oh, the lady looked that we're filming, and she looked at it and she smiled. We've been going through this transition into a plant based, mucus free diet for over seven weeks now, and it's it feels really, really, really good so far. So, we're not bloated, it's easier to it. wake up early in the morning. Mm. Um, more energy to do like workouts, more motivation mm -hmm. without like, you know, being sluggish. More motivation to do creative stuff like cook every day and yeah, just be, feel good overall and get shit done. It's much easier for me now to work out, like get motivated to work out. Before it would be so hard because anything I ate I wouldn't allow my body enough time to digest it 
and then again I'm eating and then you know eat before bed wake up and eat when you're sleeping it's not enough time for your body to digest what you ate the day before so if you wake up and you're having breakfast after like one or two hours after waking up that's way too soon Carol goes stuck in my throat you need to allow your body firstly to wake up start the full digestion process once your body is awake allow it to digest whatever's left over from the night before so it could be i don't know four or five six hours but obviously the longer the better mm -hmm. there are different methods of fasting to clean the body and digest the food this is actually good mm -hmm. one of one of it is um sorry to cut you off what do you want to say no i just wanted to say after eating the chips even though i love chips and i enjoy them but because they're oily and obviously it's not you know that was like a cheat mm -hmm. food i guess we shared one portion but yeah after eating that this feels like really good and refreshing i never thought i would enjoy salad that's nice so there's three different types of fasting normal fasting what we do intermittent fasting eight hours fasting while you're asleep and the eight hours while you're awake doing stuff you know from early morning at work or whatever and eight eating yeah then there is fasting where there is a bit more harder just uh, juice fasting mm -hmm. so you drink juice throughout the day while fasting which but is juice, fruit juice. Right? not smoothie juice. no no just so juice. it's without the the, uh, uh, the fiber. solid content without yeah. the fiber yeah so it's just the juice of veggies or or fruits and, and the difference between juice and smoothie and in the digestive process uh, when you're drinking juice it doesn't have the fibers from the plants and the fruits vegetables like the smoothie does so without the fibers it's it goes through your body more quickly it's processed more quickly mm. more easily digested and it helps to clean out and flush out you know whatever is in your gut whereas a smoothie it has the fiber so it keeps you fuller for longer, but it doesn't have like the same cleaning process. Yeah, there is lastly the most aggressive fast, which I have been practicing, um, which is water fast. Just drinking water throughout, you know, the night when I wake up while sleeping or waking up in the morning and going through the day through my routine. Even when I work out, I do like Muay Thai, martial arts and then dance. It's really, really intense cardios and, you know, physical movement. But I still just, sometimes I have craving. I know I'm good. If you want to, you can open it. I'm okay now. Sometimes I have cravings to, like, eat after workout because I get really hungry. But When you're still fasting, you know, Yeah, I know. To break your fast. Uh -huh, yeah. but it's just self-discipline, which is like having a target, you know. And I didn't start off... With regular intermittent fasting is recommended 16 hours, which is like usual amount that a normal human being takes to digest whatever they ate. Processed so fully, foods, fully, yeah, yeah. Fully yeah, processed foods, uh, animal products, and dairy. But it still stays in your gut, some food for months, so, right? Mm -hmm, so yeah. that's just like the basic cleaning out, but a lot could still be stuck to the lining yeah, because, of your gut. Because a no, lot of stuff. No, you know, for beginners fasting, you know, it's it's really difficult already. So for me, when I started fasting, I started with like, when we started, we started with like 9 hours or like 10 hours we would do. Yeah, oh my god, I remember even like 12 hours was so hard. So for me. You, we would probably sleep <laughs> like 7 now. or 8 hours and then f wake up and fast for like 2 or 3 hours and that would be like the hardest so thing hard, ever. Yeah. And we would just I like munch on food, yeah. And can't eat until 1. Oh. I really eat that. Huh? You like it. Yeah. And um, now we fast like eight, seven or eight hours we sleep and then wake up and then fast like seven hours more. But today was like how many hours? Like Wait, so I woke up at 10.30. Same time. Seven hours later I ate 5.30. Yeah, same here. Yeah, yeah, so I ate like eight hours later. And it's not a big deal at all. Once you train your body and mind because it's like a rewarding system in your brain. What I did was like, okay, once... When I break my fast, I'm going to break my fast with sweet fruits or like sweet, uh, sugar-free, um, you know, preservative-free 
uh, fruit bars that taste mm, like you yeah, know like like, the like cold candy. Bar, yeah, yeah, that tastes like something sweet. So, you know, it's for my my myself. It's like you know, it's like a rewarding process. Like oh, if I fast this long, my brain automatically knows after a first first week. Like oh, if first week is the hardest, and then the yeah, brain is like programmed. Is. You know, oh, yeah. you train it. Like okay, if then then the brain is like if I fast for this many hours, I get those sweet stuff i'm gonna get mm-hmm, that mm-hmm. so it's Nobody much way easier yeah. yeah so you just gotta find what works for you and train your body in that way and mm-hmm. so for some people it's not recommended to even fast this long first you have to find out like what type of body you have what's what your what's your diet are you mm-hmm. can you even fast for like two three hours you know what i mean you have to like yeah, experiment yeah. and check it out because there are many people that try to you know go all out and they're like okay from now i'm gonna fast like first day like fast like eight hours and next thing you know they're like fucking fainting halfway through or yeah. like going to the hospital needing uv <laughs> stuck up their ass and like you know yeah there's so many like um, <laughs> their body's IV, not ready right? yeah IV. Their, their, their body is not ready for it their body's not used to that so their when you do that suddenly when someone does that a heavy meat eater or a heavy dairy eater or sugar processed food eater when he mm-hmm. goes on a fast or she goes on a fast their body goes into a state of shock and the body's like oh my god what the fuck is happening there is no food you, you're weak it just shut down right? because the body thinks that it doesn't have any more food coming in and if it doesn't shut down it's not going to be able to walk or speak or you know do the normal stuff so it shuts down to prevent that from happening just experiment and see how many hours of fasting is you know but also you can handle if you are on one of those diets that un- they're not helping you your body they're not helping you to be healthy to feel healthy if you are eating all those meats dairy processed food fast food then your body doesn't have enough nutrition to begin with so if you're eating all of that you just have the feeling of fullness just because your tummy is full However, you're not actually getting the nutrients that your body requires to feel energetic and feel good. So you you can't fast for a long time because your body already does not have those nutrients. So how can you feel energetic? It's, it's not possible. But if you're eating um, a diet, you know, like real live foods with energy, like fruit, fruit, vegetables then you're getting that nourish- nourishment, the vitamins and minerals. It's easier to fast because your body is nourished. Your body is not panicking like there's nothing, you know? Your body is already nourished. It can withstand the fast. It's pretty much common sense. You can't starve your body. A lot of diets, fad, fake diets, like, oh, starve yourself this many hours. Just eat, like, you know, juices, detox. That's not how it works. Like, you have to... Intermittent <laughs> fast is basically you fast a set so many hours yeah and then the re- remaining hours you just eat make sure you get enough enough uh water based food you get enough juices enough nutrients enough uh vitam- vitamins and everything a bit of vegetables fruits not just like one staple like oh yeah you you fasting i had yeah. that in the beginning and then I mean, i'm just eating like fucking like i don't know like fried food or like you know what i mean like cooked oily food it defeats the whole purpose of like you know what your body cleansed out even when you're not fasting you have to discipline yourself is when you said abundance when your body has an abundance of of um, nutrition through these um, living like high energy foods it's the same like in life for example if you are abundant in I don't know, let's say you have many clothes and someone is going to take away a few. You're not going to feel it. You're not going to panic. You're, I you're think still I will. abundant, right? I think I no, will but panic because I, mean, I like You're not going to be in a state of like you're fainting and like, you know, like <laughs> you can't, you're not going to feel like you can't live without it. That's what I mean. If you're in abundance of that thing. Yeah. But if you're not, you have just a couple and all of that is taken away and you have nothing. Like you're in a state of shock or panic because you have nothing. So that's like... You know, if your body is, does not have the right nutrition, once the shitty food is gone through your system, yeah, it didn't absorb any nutrition, your body's starving. So again, you want shitty food. But if um, your body is nourished with good foods, you won't immediately, you'll be able to fast for longer because your yeah. body has the nutrition, it's abundant. Yeah. It knows that, okay, we can live off what we have. It all takes discipline and practice and patience.
Yeah. And it's just not like one off. Like the journey isn't like, oh, I'm going to fast, you know, for 30 days and then, you know, like uh, heal my gut and heal my heal my body and then you know I'm, i could live normally again like eat all the shitty food <laughs> reverse it yeah no they, it doesn't work like that like That's you like have to like coming not addicted to meth and just be like okay i'm fine i can take yeah. meth again back at it like a, cr- a crack addict <laughs> it's a lifestyle choice you have yeah. you if you want to you have the choice to make if you want to feel better you know you, a lot of people because they eat so much shit i've been there you've been there i didn't know how actually feeling better or feeling good at my highest potential actually means it's so weird right yeah you b- before you try it you don't truly know no, because you've uh, yeah, never felt never, how never it felt feels it. to be and good. you think this is like, it this is the best i can feel which is like pretty shitty yeah. like you feel like you know clogged your mind is clouded with thoughts you're you overthinking think over and over be, like, yeah unnecessary things and then like emotionally like clogged and blocked and feeling a lot of like i don't know like bad emotions throughout the day just feeling bloated mm-hmm hungry all the time yeah. and like not focused and like distraught and like yeah just just a chaotic in a chaotic state i used to feel like that and you know i'm sure a lot of people can relate and i thought that was the best i could feel you can't feel any better than that and then when i started like okay i'm gonna stop eating meat when i turned vegetarian i felt a bit better and i thought you know when i feel that much different than i felt when i was a meat eater or a cigarette smoker or alcoholic I thought, okay, this is the best I can feel, maybe. It doesn't get any better. And then I was like, no, actually, wait. Why? What if I stop eating dairy, like meat, animal products more, and then like sugar and all these processed foods, and you know, this... Then I started feeling even more fucking better. I, would, I have even more energy to do mm-hmm. stuff I enjoy. I started working out like twice a day. Morning would be like martial arts, combat sports, Muay Thai, mm-hmm. you know, cardio, and afternoon oh, is like dance. Fasting. I don't binge on food like even we're breaking fast we broke our we ate the salad just some chips earlier which is which is a reward yeah. we don't eat that even every other day yeah. and a lot of like lots maybe of fruits once every two weeks we'll have something like that yeah because we're in a transition so you know we are in the state where a lot of people when they began their vegetarian journey or vegan journey now and then they they um, have that uh, what is that called relapse and they eat like like dairy or some shit you know that's fine you shouldn't be hard on yourself because end of the day you are the one who's making the choice yeah you are the one who's making the choice consciously to feel better and allow yourself to you know eat this or eat i don't want to eat this i want to eat this feeling shit because you're relapsing and you're 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 breaking your discipline is not going to help you on the long run embrace the failure embrace your relapse embrace you know you failed your thing and you can start all over again yeah, with fresh yeah. intention yeah it's not Pre- the end of the world yeah, yeah. it happens it happens again. to it happens happened to me in the beginning like i would eat like sugary stuff I, i'm way more disciplined now a, because a long time ago, yeah, yeah a couple of months back uh, because i'm way more disciplined and able to continue this you know raw fruit and vegetarian uh, um, vegetable with fast mucus free mucus lean diet because i have allowed myself to break and relapse you know now and then mm-hmm. so and we, we got here finally yeah i think it just it got to the time where we were ready like psychologically and like physically we, we were ready because our journey from eating like complete shit like crap to now has been almost like three years yeah it takes forever man yeah, it takes a long yeah. time and still yeah, we're still and not ready yeah. like we're still like look we had fries today like we had like english fat thick oily fries today like fish and chips hey but we didn't fish have it chips. with salt we didn't have it with mayo we didn't have it with tomato ketchup yeah. vinegar none of the addictive and we shared a shit. portion instead yeah of so in, instead of you know binging on it we just shared a portion so yeah, we're on our transition still and see we're we're having that and that's mm-hmm. okay. We're not like judging ourselves or judging each other. Like, oh fuck. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna lose sleep over it tonight. Like, oh no, fuck, it's a I conscious, ate this. Conscious Consciously I decided I would like some fries. My inner children would like it. We just ate salad instantly, like mm-hmm. so Yeah, so the salad it helps to It acts digest. as a broom yeah, in yeah. the stomach. So it's like it brooms out the sticky mucus forming acidity forming like the oil that yeah oil or whatever you're eating processed bits 
whenever you combine it with vegetables, it acts as a broom to be digested properly and to be, you know, uh, pooped out. Yeah, so just wanted to share this. Bong. Mukbang. Mukbang. Thanks for watching. Okay, That's watch it if you want to. Bye.